A majority of EU member states agreed Friday to impose tariffs of up to 45% on imports of Chinese-made electric vehicles. But the European Commission did say it would continue to negotiate with Beijing to find an alternative solution. The body said it had received enough support in a vote of EU members in the bloc's highest profile trade case. The Commission had proposed final duties for the next five years. It wants to counter what it sees as unfair Chinese subsidies after a year-long anti-subsidy investigation. The tariffs range from nearly 8% for Tesla to 35% for Saic and other companies deemed not to have cooperated with the EU investigation. It's been a highly divisive issue within the bloc itself. EU sources said 10 members supported tariffs in Friday's vote, with 5 against and 12 abstentions. It would have taken opposition from a qualified majority of 15 EU member states to block the proposal. Sources said Germany, a major car producer, voted against. Its car industry urged Brussels and Beijing to avert the planned tariffs through a negotiated deal. BMW CEO Oliver Zipser called Friday's vote a fatal signal for Europe's auto industry. Mercedes-Benz also called the tariffs a mistake, while Europe's top car maker Volkswagen called it the wrong approach. Reuters reported Wednesday the measure was likely to pass, with France, Italy and Poland planning to vote in favour. China's foreign ministry did not immediately respond to a Reuters request for comment. The EU's stance towards Beijing has hardened in the last five years. It views China as a potential partner in some issues, but also as a competitor and a systemic rival. The Commission says China's spare production capacity of 3 million EVs per year, which needed to be exported, is twice the size of the EU market. Given 100% tariffs in the US and Canada, the most obvious outlet for those EVs is Europe. Beijing this year launched its own probes into imports of EU brandy, dairy and pork products. The moves were widely seen as a retaliation.